Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Chairman Neldris in Elder Kings 2. And we're gonna go and conquer Solhrest because it's probably the most developed land in the Black Marsh. And it's not tribal, so I want it. They are pretty strong though, but we are gonna try and conquer them without calling our ally. And that sounds like a weird thing to do since we could just call our ally and have them do most of the work for us. But we're gonna wanna try to save our prestige a bit because a good solution to our culture problem is to create our own diverging culture. Because if we create a local culture, it's going to be way easier to convert other local cultures. And we could create a new culture right, right now for just 500 prestige. But if we are going to make our own culture, we might as well tweak it a little bit. Because there are some changes I would like to do. First of all, I feel like bureaucratic fits uh, slaver pirates very well. Because we're going to be some bureaucratic slaver pirates. It is going to give us monthly lifestyle experience, cult cultural fascination progress, which is both very nice, and development growth. Because we are going to play fairly tall, so development growth is going to be good. And I'm not the biggest fan of our ag agrarian, because we don't have that much farmland. Actually, we have no farmland. <laughs> and I don't care too much about content, doesn't really matter. It is nice to get some extra bonuses for Diligent, Patient and Athletic. But the biggest problem is um, everyone that's going to be of our culture then is uh, going to lose some prowess. And it's going to make our Men-at-Arms recruitment costs a lot higher. Which, is, which isn't great. At least it's just recruitment. It's not upkeep, which would have been kind of terrible. Um, and we will have some floodplains. So this is actually kind of nice. So it's kind of medium. It's not great. But it's not entirely bad, I guess. Uh, castle Keepers and uh, Mystical Advisors are fine. Don't really care about them. They're kind of neutral or pretty alright. But Staunch Traditionalists is kind of bad, <laughs> to be honest. Because I don't care about the Stubborn Trait. Doesn't do much for us. These doesn't matter. Uh, control Territory Defender Advantage is pretty nice. And Control Growth is fine. But cultural fascination negative progress is kind of bad. So my thinking is we will just switch that for... I had one I really liked. Yeah, maritime mercantilism. Because we have a lot of islands and therefore a lot of coasts. And what we're going to conquer is probably going to be coast. So we're going to get to use trade port line, which is pretty nice. And all of our coastal holdings is going to give us more taxes. Which is great. So we're going to save up for 2,500 prestige. Which is quite a bit. But we do have some ways to get prestige. We can create a title. Which is going to give us 300. Which is only going to need 1,200 still. Which sounds a lot. Which it also is. But it's, it'll be fine. Because our... No, that's, that's religion. Uh, our dynasty tree. Or our legacies are going down the raiding stuff, which is great for us. Because that means we get a bunch of prestige from battles. And we also get more money and prestige from ransoms. So getting some, just going out raiding uh, or using our special little trait for, um, for, uh, whatchamacallit, for warring for tribute, that's what it's called. Uh, we can get a bunch of prisoners and just ransom them off for money and prestige. So that's going to be great. So we're just going to work on that, try to get our prestige up, and then we'll convert all of this. And that's going to let us convert religiously too, I think. But we also needed to marry our, our heir. And I did find a guy who's... Uh, I kind of like him. He is sadistic, which isn't great. But... He is also handsome and attuned. So we got two traits going, which is double the chance for some good grandchildren, which is going to be good. So I was thinking we are going to marry them. And it is this guy. Yeah. So they're going to marry. He's not a noble or anyth anything because he's just an obscure guy. So that's going to be good. There we go. And I was also thinking... Since we are going to go and fight in Solrest, which is Black Marsh. Yeah, all of this is basically Black Marsh and Plains. And one of these got bonuses for fighting in Black Marsh. Is it this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So these guys are great in the Black Marsh. So we are just gonna increase the size of that. Unfortunately, we can't, in can't increase the size of War Mages because, well, that would have been great. But, oh well. But the way we're gonna win this is through a Holy Order. Because they got lots of stuff. And uh, that's gonna be good for us. Because uh, we are gonna outnumber them like that. Because that's gonna be like 6,000 men, about. Which is great. So I think we can just... Uh, oh, actually, we want this to replenish. So let's let that replenish like so. Very good. And then we're just gonna declare war on them. And we are gonna... We're gonna <laughs> make sure we pick the right thing. It's soul rest down here. Like so. And we are gonna raise you. It is a lot of piety, but that's kind of what we use piety for. And, let's see, open terrain is, I mean, most of this is Black Marsh, but this was plains, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do have hills and mountains on this guy, but yeah, there's jungle hills there and jungle hills there, but we're mostly just gonna fight on here, which is Black Marsh, which doesn't really have any bonuses from any of these. Yeah, so let's just go with you. You're fine. We're gonna go and land over there. And we are gonna move that over there, though. Oh, and we should definitely switch you to... Probably that. To help us out with this. So, right now it's not great, but in a year-ish, then we're gonna have a plus 12% of uh, Knight, Men at Arms, Damage and Toughness. Which is gonna be good. So, let's just raise everybody here, like so, and just wait until... Oh, crap. Um, oh, we, we can solve this, we can solve this. Um, we can ask you for money. I didn't expect this to cost so much. I guess it's uh, partially because we're disembarking, but this this is fine. We got, we got money from our head of... Faith, that is okay. Uh, martial confidentiality. I am contemplating whether to share something with my wife the next time we are by ourselves away from listening heirs. The thing I've learned about Cernsey would be of great interest to her. Well, yeah, of course we're gonna tell her then. And we are gonna slow this down. Oh, and who's leading this? Okay, it's the 17 guy. That's good. That is absolute... Oh, actually, we should also do some rituals because we don't need stewardship. We are going to want shield. Oh, we could have used Swiss, swift swim here as well, but oh well. And I guess we are going to go with the illusion rally as well. There we go. So, go and land, you bastards. Come on, hurry up. Go and land. There we go. And we are going to chill here for a little bit. Just to get rid of our landed m modifier. Let's go and stand you over there. So we don't stand on top of each other. Like so. And there's, there's the trait gone. And we should absolutely be fine. We got more commander traits. Better commander. More soldiers. They are defending in wetlands. Defensive buildings and more man at counters. But we should be alright. So... Realms comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Realms the intricacies of warfare. I was naive. She, was only she has only developed the basic understandings of the subject, but at least she's learned the essentials of managing an army. I can only hope that the rest will come with experience. Oh, they grow up so fast. She's a tough soldier. And a reaver. So she's good for raiding, but she's not that great of a commander. Which is fine. Oh, Get in there. You, you need to deal with this. There we go. Hey, a child of my dynasty. My daughter and heir, Serin, has given up birth to a daughter. And she's attuned. So, she okay, she's got a base of one, so she might not be the greatest. Although that might increase as she grows up. Let's see if she becomes a caster. But let's give her a tribunal name, Maris. 
is fine. And let's slow this down a little bit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfect! Oh, that is better than I could have ever hoped for! I mean, we could probably make some money and... And uh, returning her, but it seems like we're not <laughs> making good progress here. It's gonna take three years. So, yeah. Capturing her is amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take it. I'm not gonna do this longer than we have to because that is... Ah. Okay. I did not expect that to go that well. I thought we were gonna be like down to our last men, basically. Because I had had a look at this and it's a fort level 10. So we would be here for a while. And I was gonna try the mass paralysis because since you cast it on a county, I'm assuming it's gonna lower the... or do something to the garrison, maybe help with siege progress or get rid of some garrison or something because like you paralyze the garrison that would make sense but yeah i guess that doesn't matter that's that is so good okay so we can oh we already disband everything we're fine I'm, I'm just flustered because i was not expecting this oh and i need a what happened to our marshal well oh right actually Right, um, we should uh, we should marry off a bunch of our people. Because I've gotten a bunch of good comments in the first two episodes. And thanks for that, by the way. But both the the uh, getting the diverging culture and uh, marrying off some people were very good advice. Because I keep forgetting to do stuff. <laughs> but this is very good. No, we don't care about matrilineal. Wait, no one? Really? Oh, right. We still have inheritable traits. That's why. Oh, and that is a lot of learning. But I kind of care mostly about stewardship because that's gonna make our faster, um, faster development growth and culture conversion when we get to that. So we're gonna... Okay, no good stewards. Map, map. But... Hey, a giant... Oh, how good are you? Oh, you're only a 10. Oh, well. You're still gonna be a very good marshal. Although, you're an 11. And you're... You're a 12. Even better. Any of these can cast... No. Can any of these cast spells, though? No, that's that's not how you do that. I'm stupid. <laughs> that's how you do that. Uh, no spells, no spells, no spells. Okay, um, let's just go with the giant. It's nothing more imposing than having a giant on the battlefield. And we can do matrilineal. I don't care. I mean, he's unlanded anyway, so he's gonna come over. So, then we have... Alright. Then we have you. You have any good stewards? Yeah, that's an 18. That's... Yeah, let's go with you. You're great. Happy with that. Our buccaneer. Um... I guess we can see if we have any good... No good diplomats. Oh, well. I guess... Oh, that's a very good intrigue. Let's grab you. That is excellent. Because I think our diplomat was pretty good, right? No, it's a 12. Okay, never mind. It's not that great. <laughs> so, where was I? I was over there. Uh, so, I guess diplomat 14 is fine. Let's go with that. Um, that's that's my sister-in-law, and that's our daughter. That's our daughter. That's our granddaughter. That's why is our son in jail, and why haven't I been alert alerted to this? It feels like something I should have known. I guess someone raided us. That's really annoying. Okay, that's all of our people, but that's all right. Oh, and we have a bunch of. Okay, actually, we have one prisoner, but have we gotten the trait yet? No, that's... God, I always hit the wrong thing. No, we're going to hold on to them until we get that so we can get some prestige for it. But let's get some marriages going. There we go. Get more people. Bring all the people over here. Thank you. So that should give us some good 
of these. I thought I got some better than this. Oh, well, that's fine. Or did they move away? Did I do something stupid? I might have. I do tend to do that. <laughs> but you are great. Oh, no one's gonna get any schemes on me. That's gonna be good. I wonder if we can get a better priest. I know you can request it. Don't know how. But I guess 14 is fine. Yeah, so how much? Eh, just 20, but that's, that's still money. That's still good money. Oh, and you can marry. Right, right. You got... You came of age. So, first of all, do we have any... Any inheritable traits that we can also get... Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say you're a very good ally. And you're a gross human. So, do we just go for... Portraits? Or do we... Oh, genius! That's a genius! Oh, but he's a lunatic! And he doesn't have any magic. Oh, well. How about you? You're smart. Nope. Herculean. Herculean is a good trait. He's a deceitful, <laughs> forgiving, and content, though. Um, yeah, I wish... I wish you could have cast magic. That would have been neat. But... Oh, do we have anyone that's very good at stewardship? Well, that would be you, I guess. But you... Once again, you are a lunatic. Um, let's just go with someone else. Let's go with the Herculean guy. Or do we see if we can... This is our second born daughter. Let's... See if we can get some good alliances. Is that the best one we can get? Well, it's not bad. And are you in the middle of... No, that's not quite in the middle of Black Marsh. But it is a... It is an ally we can have in the Black Marsh. So I think that's actually pretty good. Can we do this, Metrolineal? Yeah, we can. Huh. I guess if they will take a matrilineal marriage, then uh, sure. And I mean, it's fine to do normal or I guess patrilineal marriages and she might end up on this throne and all of that, but meh. I'd rather have more kids in my court and that's going to be fine. So we got to another good alliance that's very good oh and we should absolutely do some control building here oh and oh i would like this city this is a very good city who the heck are you can i yeah i can revoke this it doesn't incur tyranny why doesn't it is it because is it because they're hostile or something? Well, it doesn't incur tyranny. It loses 80 opinion with them, but I don't care. And we can get a, a rivalry, that's fine. But they're not going to decline, so yeah, let's take that. Very good. Now we got Soul Rest too. And that puts us at a domain cap. Oh, we should stop doing our rituals though. Because we don't need that. We could do that. Reinforcement rate is pretty good. So let's switch back to... To stewardship. And we can turn that off actually. On, honestly. Because we are about capped anyway. We're just 200 short. And we get 60 a month. So we'll be fine. But this is going to get us loads of money. Because there's some good stuff here. Like Solrest Emporium? Yes, please. Expanded docks. Lots of money. Lots of money. They're constructing a Carver's Guild, which is also lots of money. And just Crockfield. Yeah, this is, this is an excellent place to live. And we can't get any of these because we need... Is it burrs? Yeah, need burrs. 
Or I guess that culture needs spurs. But, oh well. The Interregnum. For centuries, Cyrodiil and most of Tamriel was ruled by the Riemann dynasty, and then the potentate over the last few decades. The authority of the imperial province over the... Over the other regions of Tamriel diminished until the potentates could only claim dominion over the over parts of Cyrodiil. As the potentate finally crumbled and fell, a power vacuum in Cyrodiil appeared quickly, uh, quickly filled by the elder council who assumed control over the imperial city and its surrounding areas. This new power, claiming legitimacy through the power given to its council by the Alician and Riemann line, took the name of the imperial commune. All over the world, central authorities crumble and the people look to their near, nearby lord and protector. The interregnum has officially started. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. <laughs> like, I missed the part where that's my problem. If you want to read all that, then I guess pause because I'm just going to ignore that. I'm sure it's all good stuff, but... Yeah, yeah. but this is an excellent get. How much to upgrade this? A lot. But we're gonna get, a, like, we're already getting 2.7 from this, and it's at 30. So, yeah, that is gonna be excellent. I think it's time we give this away, though. These are both pretty bad. So we're probably gonna... Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I thought it crashed for a second. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wait, I can't grant... I can't grant Lilmoth to anyone because I, I leased out the bog side. Well, that sucks. I don't want this. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we'll hold on to this. I don't think we're gonna conquer too much stuff. And if we do, we are gonna give that away probably. And we can probably give this away in worst case. But I think we're just gonna make more... Oh, we can unpause. More holdings here, like... Maybe create a, a city over there, a city over there. And we can create a city over, th over there too. Just get a bunch of cities over here, make a bunch of money, and that's going to be great. So let's speed up. And not quite there. They can pick it, so please pick it. There we go. Practice pick kidnappers. And I have no idea what I just clicked away. <laughs> Whoops. But, oh, we can... Host feasts and call hunts as well. That'll give us prestige. But we have prisoners. Let's ransom a prisoner. What happened to the eye patch lady? Or is that is that you? No. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. It is the eye patch lady. So oh <laughs> we got four. Okay. How about you? You can go for a hook. You can go for a hook. Okay, I don't I don't care. You're just gonna sit there. We might execute you for the dread, but that's fine. So we could go and raid. There's some good stuff over there. We could probably beat these guys. And oh we are making so much money now. So maybe we do go and raid. Let's see how much do you have? Well, you are quite strong, so we might not go and raid you. Oh, but we can raid over there. They probably have some good money. Oh, yeah. There's the stuff. Okay, let's go and raid. Uh, let's uh, grab that, because I don't want flags all over everywhere. And raise everyone. And Child of Madinusi, my daughter Rilm has given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the Dress Dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. He absolutely should. Let's uh, do a tribunal. Aralor. That sounds like a strong and powerful name. And, I mean, we are not. Do we have a... Yeah, our daughter is a raver. So that's good raiding, raiding speed, and it's just three less. So let's do let's do that. And we are done here. Let's see. Oh, that's twenty four gold. That's not bad. Why aren't we? Oh, because we're because we're not raiding. <laughs> Could help if I actually. Oh, we can't raid them because we have a truce. Right. That's three, zero, 
Well, let's go and sit there. Oh, that's 24. Yeah, so we'll go in there, raid right there, and then we'll move on in there. Although, these were pretty strong, but we can probably get away from them, them if need be. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my buccaneers chair as chairwoman Moroni announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not giving, going to spend an entire tourney day stuck in the throne, however. I too chair my buccaneers. Or the day is in our honor, my dear. <laughs> yes. Praise me. Oh, we can... Okay, let's move. Let's leave. They're they're gonna they're gonna kill us. <laughs> well, we might be able to take them, but there's no reason to. We have plenty of money we can get here, and these guys are not gonna stop us. They are. They have a lot of man at arms and stuff, but so do we. And we are just gonna grab all of this good stuff, and that's supplies. That's oh, we can get so much raid loot. Oh, that's empty though. That's nine, I guess. Oh, that's 24. And how strong are you? You're starting to get strong. Eh. Oh, this is raidable though. Yeah, so let's go up there. Oh, there's some good stuff too. Oh, we're gonna take some attrition here though. That is fine. A court here between friends. My sister Grand Magnet Carlia has honored me with a visit and has brought one of her courtiers along. Carlia approaches me excitedly. Well met, Chairman ne Neldris. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Isfar. It has occurred to me that Omin here might be of service in your court. He has a myriad of streams of influence and ways to take care of things, quietly. I would make use of him myself, but alas, it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see his great talent go to waste. Won't you take him in and unleash his potential? I mean, I have 17 isn't bad. A lot of caster. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you're not terrible, but I don't know what to do with you. Yeah, I must politely decline. I do like getting the prestige. That's perfect. And uh, I don't really need it. Oh, I don't want a rivalry there, but I mean... How likely is that to happen? Okay, it didn't happen. <laughs> oh! Our, our wife is so good. She's amazing. She just keeps doing good stuff. Oh, and... Oh, actually, let's not raid those. Try to stay in weaker areas. Yeah, we got 21 there. And how are we doing? 127. Yeah, let's... Uh, Start moving back home, I think. Oh, that's that's a nice hall. That's a pretty good hall. Neldris comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that a good tutelage would be enough to teach Neldris the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts had come to naught, however. While he has shown himself fully capable of petty scheming, uh, few would call it refined. But refinement is always not always what you need. We forgot to educate this child. Whoops. Oh, well. Um, let's find some inheritable traits. Ooh, you're a genius and attuned. You you can definitely cast spells. Oh, and you're a good steward. That is perfect. Welcome, daughter-in-law. You are excellent. Um, well, she's still not as good as our current, but still, she was excellent. So, how are we doing? 167. That is 77, though. And we have similar strength. So, let's go there. Go and take this and then leave. I, I want to chance it. I, I want this loot. That is so much loot. Leave, leave, leave. Oh. Oh, crap. No. Um... I wonder if mass paralysis maybe slows their armies. I'm gonna try it. Um, let's see, how do we cast this? How, how do we do this? 
Uh, open spellbook. Cast on ourselves, I guess. We're gonna mass paralyze. Okay. Um, I mean, we can still. I would probably lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Crap. We lost everything. Dang it. But we got a. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say we got a. We got a prisoner in the siege, but. Oh well. Um, I guess we disband this. Crap. Okay, that was a that was a failed a failed raid, but we are definitely gonna go and try that again, but probably not in there. Oh well, it happens. We'll do better other raids, cause I keep doing it on max speed, and um, I shouldn't have gone for that. I got greedy, but we are development eleven there. We should probably start doing some development there and oh we get one tick in 17 days that's nice so we are gonna replenish some of this it's gonna cost us a little bit of money but that is fine oh and did we yeah we haven't created this so let's create the duchy it's gonna give us more prestige and we should probably get some more buildings here we can get some levies in taxes and can we upgrade any of this no how much for a, a uh, city? We need 340. Well, that's that's gonna be quick. So it's not a big deal that we lost. I mean, it's it's a bit of money and uh, it's a bit of a prestige, but we'll be fine. Oh, and we should see if all of our kids are married, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, good. Feathers and lead. Before I can dedicate myself to learning the more complex spells and rituals the Alteration Schools has to offer, it is crucial that I understand the axioms pouring over the leng lengthy boring tomes can only do so much, however. Still, I find it difficult to envision how the formulae, formulae and equations, the abstract forces and their pre predi predicted operations can be encountered in nature, let alone manipulated. Putting aside a book on the kinetic force, I decide that I might just understand them if I can connect them to two common alteration spells, burden and feather, and observe how these forces affect objects and are in turn affected by magica. I can send two research objects to be brought to me. Um, we can cast feather or cast burden on this feather instead. Ooh, 50% chance we increase our arcana and get more magic lifestyles or just get 25. So roll on 25, I think that's worth it for one extra arcana. Crap. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Oh, and we are maxed out. We need some more rituals. Um, I guess activate that for now. Just get a little bit faster level replenishment and Wait, what happened? Oh, pasture is finished. Good. So, I guess we get some. We should probably get a barracks as well. Barracks are fine. We get some levies. Oh, actually, military camps. Supply limit, but... I don't know if that's better. What is our... Men at arms, are you? They're skirmishers. Skirmishers and light cav is what we have. So, do we just go for the more levies? Although, that is skirmisher bonuses. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for military camps. Very nice. Oh, and we got another trait. So, let's master alteration. We can absorb attribute neat so let's see what kind of rituals we have then do we got a new oh we got oak flesh oh that is good that is way less friendly fatal casualties i'm guessing that's a percentage <laughs> 
Oh wait, this is... No, that's command modifier, not A. Oh, so this is only if I... This is only if I personally lead the troops. Might be. Oh well, that's alright. Let's go back to... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Let's go back to Rally. And... Oh, Ransom. To the implacable Chairman Neldris. So, who are you? Oh, did we did get a prisoner from them. <laughs> Worth it! Ah, you idiots. Uh, to the implacable, 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 I don't know, Chairman Neldris of the Podomic Slavers Guild. Julia Caro is dear to me. Would you let her go in return for this offer? Hell yeah, I will. So, it turns out it was a good choice to go in here. I probably could have gotten away if I have act had actually slowed down a little bit. But that is more money than we had on us, and that is... 300 prestige. We're getting so close to our new culture. And with that, I should probably check the other prisoners. Do we have any? Yeah, we can ransom four of these. So, let's see what we get. 45, 15, 75. And one more. Wasn't there four? Or I guess that maybe was the ransom we just got. But yeah, we're getting so close. We've got so much money. Clairvoyant. Most people believe that illusion is all about deception, and even though this assessment isn't wrong per se, there is, of course, more to this school than mere glamour, glamours and mirages, for example. Uh, for instance, uh, through apopath apophatic intrusion projected into one's surrounding, one can turn the fundamental magics of illusion into something that, that reveals the truth instead of concealing it, the simple clairvoyance spell. Granted, its scope is limited, I have found no reference to it being refined to such a degree where it could rival the true alleged prophetic gifts of the wise woman of Morrowind, or even the cultists of Azura. It seem seems like one can only use it to strengthen intuition, confirm re reasonable doubts and connect thoughts that were already there, but perhaps I could attempt to tune it as high as possible. So, 0% chance that we get 100 Magic Lifestyle experience and Clairvoyant Mage. Okay. 42% uh, chance to get Clairvoyant Mage and 100... Wait, these are the same. What? Okay, whatever. Or we just get 50. This will give us 100 piety. And 5 years of more piety. Well, piety can be converted to money and we can recruit a bunch of holy orders to do exact tribute stuff so let's grab some pie now you know what magic and always the low roll <laughs> that's every time oh well oh um we can ransom him as well yeah sure i guess i told everyone to ransom but it didn't ransom so that's fine well we have a lot of money though we are gonna create a We have a castle in this county, don't we? Oh, this is a city holding. Oh. Okay, I guess we make a castle here then. That's fine. And we'll make cities here. And that's fine. I assumed we had uh, this was a castle. I <laughs> always assumed that. Oh, well, that's fine. So, it turns out our... Our bad raid turned out good, which is great. So we are getting very close to our culture. So next episode, we are definitely going to make our own culture. And uh, we're probably going to do some more raids. But uh, we're probably going to go and raid into... Oh shit, you're strong. You're very strong. You're pretty strong too. I guess uh, we might raid down here next episode. Yeah, that's going to be good. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.